I decided today that I was gonna change out my shaving soap. Cause what I got here, uh, like a couple of old pucks I've got in there that I'm just kinda like, I don't know. I don't think I'm making that good of a, <clears throat> a foam for shaving with. So I'll go ahead and bust that out. I'll clean this out a little bit later, but for now, let's talk about what I'm gonna stick in there. I went to the grocery store and I saw this the other day. And here it is, this is what it is. It's Badger Shave Soap. Now it's the only one they've got at the grocery store that I go to, that's Sprouts here in Central Phoenix. And uh, and so that's that's the one that I bought. It's cheap, it's about four or five bucks. And uh, Shea and Aloe is the, uh, the scent, if you will. So, let me re just read what it says here. It gives you a little directions here on the back. It says preparation is key. I agree with that. First, take a hot shower or apply a warm towel. I'll be doing the hot shower and getting back to you. Next, to support effortless glide and prevent irritation, rub in a few drops of Badger pre-shave oil. Didn't know that. Didn't buy it. Just going with the soap. Use hot water, a quality shave brush. to create and apply a rich, soothing lather. Then shave away. To finish, rinse with cold water, put dry, pat dry. All right, the glasses are on, I'm sorry. Pat dry <clears throat> and end with a splash of badger aftershave. I'll use my own, that's okay. Chop wood, carry water, the world awaits. Manly stuff. All right, I like it. So far, so good. Let's see what it says here on the side. Badger Shave Soap provides an extra creamy shea butter rich lather for a super smooth and non-irritating shave, best applied with a quality shave brush. But if lost in some vast, uncharted wilderness, you can lather with cold water from a nearby stream or spring, apply by hand, and still end up looking and feeling good. I'll keep that in mind. I had somebody tell me I ought to be shaving by a stream with a bar of soap. I may do that soon, and I guess this is... This is the thing I'm going to use. You got the ingredients all on here. The interesting thing about this <clears throat> is, it, is some of these ingredients are certified organic. I'll get to that in a second. So, good grooming for adventurous gents. And then it says 85% organic ingredients. I'm not sure what that means either. I, for one, attest to being a genius at least 85% of the time. Never mind the idiotic things I do the other 15%. So there you go. Why even put that on there? It was the only one I had available at the grocery store I went to. So it's not like I was going to take it in favor of another one that was only 50% organic. And what's the other 15% anyway? I don't know. If you're really into the organic thing, maybe, maybe that's important to you. I couldn't tell you. But anyway, let's pop that out of there. See what it looks like. It says Badger on it. Has a divot in the back. Don't know what for. I suppose if you put some shave oil in there, you could whip it up into your lather with you. So, I don't know. The smell is just uh, mildly soapy. Nothing particularly outstanding about it in any way. The, the bit of a spice tone to it, I guess you would say. But give me a moment. I'm going to get in the shower over here. And in a bit, I'll come right back and I'll show you how it lathers up. And I'll go ahead and do a shave with it while I'm at it. You can fast forward at that point. Oh, like and subscribe if you like these uh, these videos. And I'll keep doing them. Oh, see you in a minute. All right, so you know the drill. Got to get that good and hot. Good and wet with hot water. And we've got a nice warm shave soap. That'd be the resulting slurry. Let me turn that fan off. Whoops. Oops, two buttons, get the wrong one. Shake off just enough water. I'm gonna take and mix about, <clears throat> see what sort of lather we can work up here. Now it looks like I had a little too much water. What do you do? Give it another little shake. Dry that off a little bit. Maybe that this lathers up more easily than the ones I've used before. It sure seems like it. All right, let's see what we got now.
Mm -hmm. That indeed does make a nice lather. I'm glad I threw away that other stuff already because uh, I'm going to be using this for a while. Yeah, I like that. Now, I've already stropped my blade. This one here, in case you care, is a double duck. I don't know when these was, were manufactured. I'm thinking in the 60s, 50s sometime. Whoop. That's my favorite blade to work with. I'll do a comparison of those someday. But for now, let me just go ahead and work on this. And we'll see what we come up with. You know something, I like the, the lather. Be hard not, not to like that. The way it just came up like that and just gave me all sorts of luxurious bubbles. Yeah, I like it. Now, for my buddy Falky, I believe he lives overseas somewhere. Uh, a lot of his material is all in German there. But uh, Falky says I should be shaving on the side of a river with just a bar of soap and a razor. Now, the problem I have, and you'll have to tell me, Falky, if you listen to this and, and, and want to weigh in, do I get to bring a mirror out there with me? Because I don't ever do this without having a look. Kind of worried I might cut this beautiful face here. But I'll look at it as a challenge. I'll do it any which way you say. If you say. Because challenges are fun that way. Now I lost a lot of my bubbles there. Because I'm yakking too much. Let me turn this down a little bit. <coughs> You see the neck a little better. Get a little more water on there. Give a couple more swirlies there. Let's get it finished off going the other way. That's a pretty righteous shave, I gotta say. Let's rinse it off and see how it feels. Mm. There's kids out there rubbing their bottoms and saying, I wish it was as smooth as the erudite cowboys. That's what I think. All right, you get back to me on that other thing, Falky, and uh, I'll keep shaving. Let me know what, it, what you think. Comment below. Y'all be sure to remember your cow bees. Be smooth. Be sensitive. And of course, be erudite. Oh yeah, the mustache brought to you by my first sponsor, Firehouse Mustache Wax.